red wig and pajamas or something, long johns and pajamas on and a scarf tucked in. What is she saying? Talking a mile a minute. Here comes Thomas, the perennial winner of the Fushing ski races. Good turn. Then the kids have to come down and stop at some uh, judges, get a drink. The kids got drinks, the adults got alcohol. Continue on your way. They haven't stopped the timing, of course. Make another hairpin turn there. Whoops, almost went down. Continue down a hill. Whoops, where's he going? Down the hill. Up the hill, the other side. And this is where if you didn't have a good start, you wouldn't make it up the top. And then around the corner, and then that was, the, I think, the timer. Here comes Stephanie. Rosy red cheeks. Well, that was her hair done up in pigtails. Around the corner, waiting to get her drink. Some juice for the kids. Takes her drink. She takes a lot longer than Thomas. This is where you lost your time, Steph. Thomas didn't drink all the drink he was supposed to. Probably just took it and left. You made a good turn. Whoops. Down the hill. Get going. Get going down that hill. Come on. And there you'll see a guy by the house. I think he's the timer. Or maybe he had to go around the hill. And then the adults take off and the kids take off. And there's a guy with a radio telling you when the next person can go. There's Dougie with that skirt on. Oop, little kid going down the hill. I folk, think folk had told me this was the guy, the owner of the uh, ski resort they used to stay in, or a house. They get like 20 people staying in this three or four bedrooms. Hello, Lutzes. Haven't changed much. This is August 3rd in Germany. I'm taping these, and it's the day after uh, we gave Lutzi his 50th birthday present. There's Jorg, Lutz, Jorg, Lutz and uh, Jorg Verbal. Valmen Dingenhorn was the ski resort they're at here. That's the guy that owned the, uh, the building. There's Gerdy again and Jorg Verbal going up on the gondola Zug as it's called auf Deutsch Lutz is packing up to go home it looks like Parzin what does that mean Parzin is that the name of the place Gerdy again and just some miscellaneous scenes here come the kids Stephanie and Thomas Or is that Daniela Lutz? That could have been Dunny. Or is that Steffi? <laughs> oh, these were Folka's American friends, the Beals, I think. And there's Gerdy and York Verbal and Thomas and Steffi. Going on a picnic somewhere, it looks like. That's a birthday cake. Oh, this might have been going up to Lutz Wunsch Wusch. Lutz's 69th birthday. Now there's the Lutzes. There's Daniela and Dougie and there's Vush. And I think it's her 69th birthday in 19. And she got some new earrings probably from her son, her only son. And her only granddaughter who now has a daughter. What is the daughter's name? Lutz's grandchild. Lutz, Lutz's son-in-law took his last name Lutz. So the name is still alive. And they're building an igloo. Thomas and Daniela. Where's Steffi? There's, there's Tommy. Charlie's building a fort there. There's Stephanie. So that was Steffi in the yellow outfit before. Okay. And there's Steffi in a blue outfit with her boots on, getting the skis, ski poles. And here come the kids down the ski slopes again. Whoops, up the hill, down the hill. It's like a ski mask on, huh? And here's Thomas taking ski um, tennis lessons at the IBM clay courts by the IBM lab in Shonai. Good forehand. Got his forehand going. 
two-handed backhand, Thomas, not bad. And that was Shane Washington, Fulka's boyfriend for a while. Shane is still teaching school at Patch High School in Berlingen, Sindelfingen. A lot of people going back the, uh, with, the, with the wall coming down and the Russian um, less aggressive attitudes now. The, they're closing bases, so Patch is getting some of the kids coming from other bases that will eventually close. Shane Washington is the tennis coach. He was the basketball coach at Patch High School for many years. Thomas, you could have been a great tennis player if you really had any interest in the game. I think he did it really to please his mother. Didn't get a lot of pleasure out of playing tennis, I think. Got a bigger kick out of ping pong, I'd say. But you had great eye-hand coordination, Tommy. There's Shane again. He's a lot heavier now. More gray in his ear. He must be pushing 50. I think he was about full of his age. Maybe he's 49 now. His girlfriend, he had a girl, uh, had to go back. The girl lady that was living with him was divorced over here. Lived with him for a couple of years and wanted to marry him. And she left to go back to Chicago, I think Folka told me. There's Dougie. I don't know who that is. The ski slopes of Austria. This was a little nook. You go through Germany into this section of Kleinweisertal, if that's where it is. Then there was no way to get out into any section of Austria. It's really a phenomenon. You can only enter into this section in and out through Germany because the mountains, there's no road through the mountains. Hi, Stephanie, to get to the other side of Austria. Must have been one of the Beale kids. <laughs> There's Dougie. How can you miss Dougie's little butt going up the hill? And that looks like Lutz right behind her. Not sure who that is. Stephanie, maybe? And it looks like it's going to be another race, another slalom coming up for the kids. And here's Ponyhoff. This must have been the time Folka tried to leave the kids in a camp and didn't make it. Now we're at the zoo, I think. This is the Stuttgart Zoo. Jackasses everywhere. Who says you got to be a human to be a jackass, huh? The Monkey Village. Recognize some of those characters. Stephanie, Thomas, looking at the monkeys there, looking at the humans. <laughs> Look at that orangutan, I think that is, right? Orangutan saying, what are all you funny looking people doing out there? I'm having a ball in here. There's a little chimpanzee. Penguin is trying to get his fish away from the other penguin so he can have it all by himself. Little piggy. Or maybe he's putting it in the refrigerator for later. Going to have some fish lunch. Hello Lutz. Gerdy. Stephanie. Litka is the name of uh, Lutz's granddaughter. She's about that age. Litka Lutz. Litka Lutz and Lutz Lutz. LL. That's what he has on his all his car license plates. He's got three vehicles now. Or four vehicles counting the... Uh, here's York Verbal. Whoops. Eating. And there's Daniela. And a puppy dog. Dougie. Oh, it's, uh, it's a parkour somewhere. Time for taking a parkour exercise through the German woods. Stephanie and Thomas. Yeah, here's the parkour sign. This might have been the one up near the...